All right, welcome back to the Club Junkie. What's in the bag? This is week 14, men's league. Thursday night men's league, week 14. It, we played 20 weeks. We're already well past halfway. It's crazy how fast the summer's going. Last week, um, I played okay. There were some really good parts of the game, some bad parts of the game. I shot a 41, uh, and that's with uh, kind of a terrible double uh, on a par three that I just snap hooked a ball OB into some water, uh, made double there. So that was, uh, that was a rough one. But other than that, uh, hit some really good shots. To be honest, I've been kind of working on the swing a little bit uh, out in my, my net, in my backyard, just trying to fix a couple things, and I'm just now starting to trust it, but I hit some really, really good iron shots, uh, and honestly, uh, driver's the one thing that's kind of coming around, and it's all just trust in the swing. So I uh, didn't hit a bunch of great drives. Iron play was really solid. I actually putted okay, and other than, honestly, the one wedge shot on that par three that I dunked into the water, uh, they had a really close drop zone. Didn't hit a good wedge there. Everything else, I actually hit really good wedge shots. So wedges, irons, really solid. Uh, the woods are starting to come around as I kind of trust these little swing changes a little more on the course. I can I can trust them in a net. It's tough on the course. So this week, we're going to get uh, going here. And uh, I've got to get ready because next weekend is a big guys week. Uh, weekend, we go up, up to northern Michigan. We play a bunch of golf. A little bit of Ryder Cup style, 16 guys. So uh, I got to get ready for that. So I got to get uh, kind of a little more dialed in. So this week, uh, we're going to go uh, something a little different. Going to have some stuff in the bag we haven't played uh, in a while just to kind of test a few things out, see what's going up north and what's not. Uh, so we're going to start at the top like we always do. And driver, we're going to go uh, something a little different here. We're going to go the Cobra Dark Speed X. Uh, this is a 10-5 head. I've actually really liked this head. I took it out, did a three-swing challenge uh, with it with a different shaft and hit it really well. And I've actually hit it really well a couple times. So Dark Speed X 10-5 head. Uh, I really like kind of the look. It's a, it's a little stretched out, but overall, I love the matte finish and it seems to perform really well. Uh, and this is going to be shafted up with a VA Composites Regime 2.0. So this is kind of a kind of mid-high launching shaft, low spin shaft. This is a 65X, uh, but really smooth, great feel and uh, kind of an underrated shaft uh, if you're looking for something a little higher launch uh, without getting too crazy in terms of high spin. But this should be a pretty forgiving, pretty long, uh, good combo there. Three wood, uh, I think I've actually started to like this one a little bit better. I know I, I said the QI10 standard was kind of in the lead. I'm starting to like the Tour a little bit, but this is going to be the QI10 Tour. Uh, this is going to be the, the one with the movable the sliding weight. It's actually a one-click back. 15-degree um, three-wood head set just a standard loft on the hosel, uh, and this has got a Fujikura Ventus 7X in it. So again, the kind of the mid-high launch uh, shaft there. But I'm really liking this thing. The titanium face uh, you know, keeps the ball speed, and if you can see uh, on here, I mean, I've got ball marks kind of all over the face. So this thing here uh, keeps the ball speed up even when I miss it on the toe and the heel. Sliding that weight back a little bit definitely gets the ball up in the air. You can definitely see a, a difference there. Uh, and I like the sound and feel of it. The shape is good, but this has been a pretty good combo here. And uh, so far, this is kind of in the mix with uh, my GT in terms of what's going to be the starter. So uh, really excited to get that out and uh, and hit it and kind of make sure that's what's going. Uh, and then we're going to go a little different. Usually I've got a 7-wood or a hybrid. We're going to go two hybrids this week. So we're going to go QI-10 Tour. The matching, uh, to match the 3-wood, we're going to go uh, hybrid. This is the 19 and a half. Uh, degree hybrid here. Uh, this is just has the stock Tensei Blue, uh, the AV Tensei Blue 75 stiff. Um, but I've hit this before. I really like it off the tee because it's kind of got a deep face, really compact. It's not crazy forgiving, but it's forgiving enough. Uh, off the deck, it does fly a little flat for me. Uh, but at St. Clair Shores where we play, I'm not really going to need to hit it off the deck, uh, I don't think at all. Uh, hopefully not. That means I've hit such a poor drive that uh, I don't have a shot into the green, or I have a very long shot into the green, but uh, I like the look when you set this down. just has a really classic shape to it, and again, uh, off the tee, this thing offers uh, just a little more distance than a 7 would. So, going to go with this uh, in the th kind of 3-iron spot, and then uh, for 4-iron, <clears throat> we're going the PXG Black Ops uh, 22 degree, the four hybrid. This is going to be uh, my four iron replacement, basically. I just swapped the shaft out and put a graphite design VF85 hybrid shaft in here, 85 stiff. Uh, I was out hitting into my net, really, really solid. I kind of like the feel of it. It's mid launch, uh, kind of low spin, and honestly, still, still can get it up in the air. Uh, my basically Bushnell Launch Pro was kind of showing that I was still hitting a pretty decent apex on this. Again, like the deep face, can hit it off the deck, uh, but it gets up in the air fast. And if I really need to, it's set to 22 degrees. I could always move it up and set it to 23 if I needed to go uh, just a little bit higher with it. Uh, but overall, I like the feel. Again, the shaft really solid, uh, just like the driver shaft. Uh, good feel to it, smooth, solid. It has almost like a little bit of a stouter feel to it. So then, 
We're gonna move into irons and irons. We are going to go with the Ping I-230s. So I haven't played these things in a while. Uh, these have been, uh, you know, kind of down in the, uh, uh, over the bag, uh, in the backup bag over there. These are shafted up with Fujikura Axiom 105s. Um, some really, uh, I mean, I like these shafts a lot. They're really stout. They kind of take away a little bit uh, of the left side, velo core in these, but this is just a forgiving set of irons. Just easy to hit. Uh, they're not crazy, crazy long. They've got some distance, but they're not crazy long. They're a little bit oversized, but a good shape, not too much offset. Um, and when you hit them flush, they actually do have a pretty good feel to them. When you miss them, they get a little firm, but, but, uh, when you hit them center, uh, they're pretty darn flush, but I'm gonna play these five through pitching wedge. And again, just looking for something a little easier to hit, a little more forgiving. And these definitely fit the bill there, uh, for that. And then wedges, we're going to go with uh, the gamer wedges. I know I don't change uh, these a lot. Um, these are going to start off with the, the title is Vokey SM10s, uh, and this is the SM10 50.12F, so the high bounce 50 degree. like this thing a lot. It's got the Club Junkie stamp on it, and uh, just overall a really good solid gap wedge. I've been hitting this really well. It's got a uh, Nippon Modus Tour 105 in it. Um, that may change. That may go to a Project X shaft, um, Project Wedge shaft here soon, but we'll see. We'll see. So far, I've been hitting it really well, uh, and this is basically my... Basically 110 to 90 club. I kind of use it or everything in between that, and uh, it works really well. And I like uh, the ability to be right in front of the green, kind of hitting little pitch and chip shots uh, with it as well. Then with the 56, we're going to stay with the SM10s, and we're going to go with the Vokey SM10 14 F grinds. So this is the full sole uh, 14 degree bounce. I know it's a lot. But we play in soft conditions here. It rained literally all day on Tuesday night. So the course is going to be soft and uh, 14 degrees of bounce. It doesn't play like that much uh, around here. When you open the face up, good float in the trap. This is the, 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 the club I use out of the bunker. So uh, really good float out of there. And overall, just a really solid wedge. Good spin around the greens. Uh, I've, I've really liked that. I like high bounce sand wedges. They just play really well with my game. And then for the lob wedge, uh, we're going to go with the Titleist Vokey Wedgework 60 A plus grind. So this is the A plus grind. Um, it's kind of like the K grind, uh, but they, I guess they have uh, just a little different uh, sole grind to it. They basically smooth it out to get through the turf a little faster, but a very wide sole, uh, but not a ton of bounce on it. And I played this thing uh, again. I did a little three swing challenge with this thing and really liked it. I didn't know that I would. And it hit some really good shots out of the rough. It glides through a lot faster than you think. It doesn't get hung up with all that mass down there. Uh, and then on like a little firmer lie out of the fairway, you can really kind of thump this thing into the ground and, you know, get down, get that leading edge under the ball with no problem. Um, now, if you're going to a guy who opens up your 60 a lot on tight lies and plays really high lofted kind of flop shots, this probably isn't the grind for you. But if you play this thing a little more square, you just open it up a little bit it plays really, really well. So uh, I, I like this thing a lot. Uh, the, I've played two rounds of it so far, been a big fan, and uh, this has definitely taken over something I like better than my 60S, uh, 10S grind. So the A-plus grind going in the bag there. And then to round it out for putter, we are going to take out the old Odyssey AI-1 milled. This is the 8TS, and uh, this is kind of the, uh, I think it was based off kind of a, um, I can't remember, I think it was the Le Mans from a Toulon but has a, a more of a mallet shape, single long sight line, which I like to line up. I like the navy blue color. It's nice and dark. And the, uh, the, milled, uh, the milled insert on this thing is nice and crisp, offers a good feel to it. And I do have to say these AI faces, um, now the milled one I don't notice as much, but with the, the, the standard AI1 milled or uh, AI1 insert, I definitely think there's something to what they did there because I think the ball speed and the distance control is extremely consistent. So I like this head a lot. We're going to take it out. Uh, this has a UST all-in uh, graphite putter shaft. It's graphite with a steel tip uh, putter shaft and a super stroke pistol 2.0 on here is energy 2.0. So uh, the grip is a little big in my hands. Um, I could see changing that out at some point, but overall big fan of this putter. I put it really well with this when I, uh, when I got it at the, uh, the, the launch event down in uh, Frisco, Texas. So I want to take this thing out give it another shot and, uh, and see how it goes. But that is what's in the bag for men's league. Thursday Night Men's League, week 14. These are the sticks. Hopefully, we'll, uh, we'll round it out. And my next what's in the bag for week 15 is going to be totally different because it's going to be for what I'm playing up north. And up there, we're playing 18, 36, 36, 18. So we're playing a ton of golf. So that's going to be a big what's in the bag. I bring two full bags. We're going to knock them both out. But uh, that is the what's in the bag for week 14. I'll let you know how it goes.